after my history degree, uh, one of the first things that I did was I worked at Oldham Council for a bit in Greater Manchester. I was in their policy and strategy department and I was working on a particular project um, on their holiday hunger initiative, uh, the aim of which was to destigmatize emergency food provision in the borough. Um, for Oldham, one of the, uh, a large social problem is um, food poverty. Um, and I was set various research tasks, but my main role was helping with qualitative research and um, the collation and evaluation of data from parents who were involved in the scheme. What I liked most about doing that job um, was the ability to see how I could use the qualitative research methods that I'd developed through my history degree in an applied work context. Um, and the actual nature of work was actually quite similar to some of the supervision system in Cambridge. Um, uh, I would be you know, given a deadline and kind of resources to look at um, and then would present them back, my research back to some of the policy officers in the department, which some of the meetings felt quite like a supervision. Um, and so that was really, it's quite unique. Um, obviously, there are so many different types of work and culture, but particularly in local government, it was really interesting to see that um, how similar um, some of my degree skills were in a work context. The two main skills that come to mind that I took away from my history degree are efficiency in information and data sort of handling and thematizing. Um, particularly in Oldham Council, the work that I was set often involved looking at a large volume of information and drawing out the most salient themes. Um, an example of which was I was set a project to look at the implications of Oldham Council's commitment to the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. And so I had a lot of information out there, um, but then I had to summarise it and like present it back in a, a short form. Um, and definitely being learning to be efficient during my history degree um, helped me um, in a valuable way for that. Uh, and then secondly, more generally, would be time management and just prioritising when I work best during the day, um, when I burn out, when I um, need to take breaks, and um, yeah, just as a kind of life lesson more generally from my degree. For 18 year olds considering studying history, uh, my main advice would be don't put too much pressure on yourself going into the degree uh, um, in terms of thinking about what you want to do afterwards. Um, even though it's not strictly vocational in the same way that law or medicine is, this can be a real blessing because it opens up um, so many doors in places that you wouldn't think to look.